Let's show you some more details of the tanger. So we're moving and pivoting this way. Now we have a line saw with our hand open because our intention is that way because that's where we're kicking. So we want to move our long cell in the box position instead of the elbowing position where I want to elbow that way. This time I want to go this way. So I'm going to keep my hand right in front of me like that. When we're doing a time grip, in this, in the first, uh, first time we do the time grip, it's going to be a flick kick. Now some people might want to do a stomp with their heel. But the motion of the first time is an upward motion. Notice that it goes up. So knee goes up and flick. So knee goes up, knee goes up. So it's like an upward motion. You can either do with the toe up, toe pointed. So you make contact with the toe, the top part of your foot. This makes for a little bit more distance or you can do it with your heel. It depends what you're trying to kick. If you're trying to reach into something, trying to kick between the guy's leg into the groin, then the toe is a little bit better. If you're trying to push more with the, with the heel, if you want to push the guy off or kick the guy's thigh or the knee, then the, then the heel is better. But in the first kick, in the second section, we're going to have an upward motion. So either upward with the heel or upward with the toe, the same. So that's some details on the tongue curve.